In this video, I want to give you a quick introduction to the stencil effect feature of the Mega Pack 2.0. So once you've loaded up the Mega Pack, next to choose an option here, you want to go down and select stencil effect here. Click OK. Now our first option is whether we want to apply the stencil effect to a PowerPoint file. So that would be a PowerPoint file that you already have your images set out in. Now this can be created in, a, in any program. So it doesn't need to be created in PowerPoint if you've created your PowerPoint file in Google Slides or Keynote or LibreOffice, for example, you can still select this option. Or our other option is to apply the stencil effect to a, image, a folder full of images here. So if I just go down here and show you, I have, what's that about? 52 different images. Now it's worth noting before we get started here that this is a one click tool and it does make its best guess that it can to give you the best result. But as you will notice, some of the results won't be great and may be unusable. But as we can see our, um, we see our animals here. So I'm just gonna close that now. And in this first example, I'm gonna choose a, a PPTX file, that's a PowerPoint file. Click browse. And then we're gonna scroll uh, browse to the location, which is there. Click open. Now here we can choose if we want a start and end slide for the effect. So for example, if you have a PowerPoint file already made up and the images are only on a certain, um, in a certain page range, you can select that here. If it's just images, then obviously you can go all the way from the first to the last. And then we're gonna hit okay. And now that stencil effect has been added successfully. Click OK. And then if we reload up our file, and then as we stroll, um, scroll through, as you can see on some of these, the result is very good. And on others, the result isn't that grand. So in my opinion, the best way to run this, if you want to use it, is to basically just get a huge amount of images that you have rights to use, of course, and then run the feature on it. And then afterwards go through and if there are any that the result is undesirable, just delete them. So now I've showed you the uh, PowerPoint version. We just close that and we go back in again to stencil effect. I'm now going to show you the image folder. So what we do here is we're going to browse to a folder with our images on. So that's the animals folder that I have here, which again, it has exactly the same um, images that I had in the PowerPoint file as well. So we go back in here and I'm going to choose a location that we want these saved. So let's do a new folder and then we'll convert it. Select that and then we hit OK. And then we just wait for that to complete. This uh, feature is a lot slower than the PowerPoint version, but the results can be a little bit better. Uh, not much, but can be a little bit better. If we could start going into our animals converted folder here, we can see that our images have started to be converted into outlines like so. And again, I'd follow exactly the same principle as I just explained in PowerPoint, and that is to go through a huge folder of images that you have rights to. And then afterwards, 
run it through the feature afterwards just then go through and any ones that are undesirable or don't look great just hit delete on them so i think we should be almost not far from being done now almost there but as you can see again some of these results are uh, pretty good say for example our elephant or our worm or our duck here but other ones are less desirable as you can see on here and here and here you can barely see the outlines so we're just almost finished with that now a few more and then okay so i hope this quick video introducing you to the stencil effect of the new mega pack helps you thank you for watching